Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I'm a little bit confused. Somebody sent me an SVG file, a JPEG, and a file that they'd run through Photograve. Photograve is a program to actually take photographs of buildings or people or structures. These are basically vector graphics. So the Photograve's not gonna do you any good. He's gonna engrave this on glass so you just want black and white. He sent me two uh, different files. So we'll take a yellow box trick, go up to object, unless I'm just uh, misreading it. Uh, the JPEG is pretty pixelated, pretty bad. The SVG file is pretty much dead on. Um, I would change the fire department and the firefighter uh, you know, this is a little bit confusing. He's going to engrave it really, really big on a piece of glass. So let's just get rid of the JPEG. Let's get rid of the yellow box. We don't need it. This thing is, and it's a little over 10 inches. We'll make our nudge factor 11. And we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to go up to object and group and ungroup it. And see, then you still can't really move it. So we're going to go to object group it and ungroup it again sometimes it happens but we're going to go ahead and uh, type out firefighter i don't you know that font um, go with all caps um, you know just get it you have to get a font pretty close to that you know if we use that one in bold you know by the time we do it it might work pretty good so let's take the firefighter out of there uh, because we, I'm just going to hit the delete key. Now, the only problem with this part right here is that this is pretty rough. Uh, this needs to be cleaned up if we take the shape tool. But this is pretty messed up because if we get rid of too many nodes, we lose our... Matter of fact, maybe we can, maybe we can right click and turn that into a line and then bring that back. You don't want to change up too much, but we need to get rid of this bumpiness. So let's just turn that, I'm right click, turn it into a line. Now, let's get rid of these nuts. We're gonna put that back, don't worry. Um, go ahead and now take these two and right click and turn them into a curve, and then try to grab the middle and just bring it back up. And you could completely redraw this. You know, you could draw this with a, you know, two circles. Um, I'm just trying to make it, let's get, tell you what, let's get rid of that node. Turn, select these two nodes. I've actually clicked, selected that one. So we're going to hold down the shift to select the two. Right click, turn them into a line. And then take this one, shift, select turn them into a curve. And what that did, that made our sides uh, work. So now we got a lot cleaner area to work with. Now what we're gonna do is take the Smart Fill tool and I've got it set on yellow and I'm gonna fill, uh, move that over. As a matter of fact, let's see what our nudge factor is. It just seemed like it nudged pretty far away. The envelope tool might work in this case because of the fact that we've cleaned it up, it wouldn't work before. So if you're gonna use the envelope tool effect, envelope, place, you've got it selected, so place, create an envelope form, form, and that looks pretty good. I'd almost go with that. So what you're gonna do now is take both of these and go east. Well, you don't wanna do that. You wanna select this first, Hold down the shift, select that second, go just the opposite, I'm sorry. Select that one, hold down the shift, E, C, and then that way it didn't move. Now we can take away the outline. Well, I, I must have inadvertently moved it, but it's pretty easy just to place it in there. We do want to get rid of that, and we're too big, uh, so let's just fix that real quick the way we should have, I should have done it the first time. 
when you have your envelope form, well, we're too far. We need to get up the firefighters um, flat again. So now when you're in this envelope form, take this form and go to effect contour. And we're going to contour real little to the inside. That's too much. Um, zero, zero 0.08. I don't remember what the number was. That's not enough. Maybe it was zero 0.08. That's just too much. Um, zero... Nine. No, it's, it's going the opposite direction. I'm thinking backwards. So 0 0.04. That's good enough right there. Now you can break it apart, break the contour apart, and go right here and use that one. Sorry that I'm nudging so far over. But now we can use that envelope form. Take a look at it before we do anything. That looks pretty good. We've lost part of that F for some reason. But that's easily fixed. You know, uh, once we go up to object and convert it to a curve, and I moved it, I shouldn't have moved it, but I'm gonna left click, right click, just so you can see a little bit better. Take that node and just bring that node down. Um, you know, we actually go right here and then right click and convert them to a line. That looks pretty good. I mean, I, I would do a lot more work. And then turn them black. Now I did move, but if we hold down the shift key and select that and hit E, C to just kind of center it. And then I'm gonna grab that graphic and move it out of the way. And you could also do this with the, um, the text of path. That looks pretty good. Text of path might be a little bit better job. Everything else looks good, the fire you know, I think the fire needs to be redone. Uh, best way to for me to do that would be to, because you can't really, you could take this shape and do the same thing, but why don't we just do this, just take a two-point line, you know, excuse me, a three-point line, three-point curve line, go from there to there, and then just kind of notch it up, and then nudge that over, and type out fire. Now that looks like a, like a Times New Roman, but thicker. A lot of times Corel does that, and then if you go back, Times New Roman will be your last font used. Make it bold, and we're gonna make it pretty big, maybe a little bit smaller. And then go text to path right here. So let's zoom in. Go to text, text the path, put on that path, see what it looks like, it looks pretty good. Go ahead and go to object and break the text apart. A lot of times you have to select it all. Go up to object, break the text apart. Go ahead and get rid of our line. Well, we've, we've got it on our font. Now just take that letters of the fire, you know, cause that's really kind of the most, to me anyway, the most important part of this of the graphic it looks a little bit off you know you could tweak it just a little bit you know my and make sure it's black it doesn't look black to me you know this, okay cmyk black um, i'm using his file uh, if you're going to engrave this on glass you need to use um uh, well i say it's this file because i brought in that for a file on real draw uh i would especially in glass let's get rid of this uh, go up to tools no excuse me go to windows color palettes palettes and close down don't say default go rgb and and then you're ready to go and you got black right there. Well, mine's kind of messed up. It's 90% black. But if you'll look at the difference, and really I found out on glass years ago that if you run it like at 80% black, 
So you'll be better off. See, that is a true black right there, and that's, I've, I've lost my 100% black. I need to work on that, but that's beside the point. The graphic looks good. You know, do the same thing to the department. You know, maybe, you know, the fire may be off a little bit. Now, in one of the email, or the email he sent me, he's going to do it on glass. Um, you know, it all depends on how you want to look at it. You can engrave it like this on the front of the glass or in, or in, uh, in basically invert it and engrave it on, well, I guess it wouldn't really matter since it's clear glass. You just kind of know, you can do it on the back. A lot of people do it on the back and then, because people could wipe their hands across, especially with something that's pretty big. You know, the fire hydrant looks good. I don't see any problems with anything else. I mean, the helmet's a little bit, you know, you could start changing things, but it's almost, uh, you know, the graphic is pretty cool. Anyway, let's just check one more time. Yellow box trick, order, or object order, back a page. See, there's no white, so that's going to engrave just what you see. I've got a couple of videos on how to redraw this, but that looks that's good. I mean, the hook and ladder looks good. You know, this is a little bit confusing. You know, there's a ladder, and you could you could play around with that, but it just all depends on how actually big. I can't remember how big it's going to be. Anyway, that's what I would do. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.